Welcome back for part two of the Grid Auto Sport uh, career playthrough. And we are at the second weekend of the, uh, the first series of Open Wheel. And uh, we are currently the championship leader, having came third and then the first at the first weekend. And we are now at the Auto Sport Raceway, which I have not driven at. Uh, I, well, I've driven a few laps, but I don't know if I've driven this layout. So we are straight to qualifying. And here we go. We have three laps to try and learn the track. Although I may have driven this track once in a touring car. I am not too sure. As we are straight away after the first sector into second. Which is a good start. And from what I've driven so far as we get heaps of oversteer. Heaps of oversteer. Which is not where we want it in the mid on, well, on high speed corners. Uh, from what I've driven of the Autosport uh, Raceway, it's a quite a good layout. Well, it has quite a good, it has good layouts, and it has an oval as well. So I think they've done a, a good job with this uh, fictional raceway. Uh, so sliding through the last corner, we just missed the wall. We were so close to hitting that wall, and we are in fifth after our first lap. But we can do better than that. We can do much better than that. So braking as we run a bit wide, but I think that gives us a good exit, although we are actually slower by three tenths. <laughs> but we can go faster through here now, as, we, as long as we don't get the oversteer like we did last time. A bit, a bit of a dab of brakes, and we are purple, which is what we need. We need purple. So the left-hander, a bit of runoff there, which we'll use a little bit of, and another left-hander. Oh, we are still purple. Bit of a strange line here, but I think that works. Because it makes sure we don't hit the wall, but we are very close to that wall. Pushing it. Okay, we are into fifth again. So, let's, let's do this. Into the left-hander, that was a good line. And we are purple. We are purple. get the oversteer but we need to deal with that instantly bit of dabber brakes again so we reach to the curb and we are five tenths up on something I don't actually know if that's up on ourselves or up on first into the left hander we're going to take a tighter line so we get a good line through the right hander here a faster line and we get the oversteer, we just missed the wall once again, we were pushing that, and we're going to go straight to the line, fourth place. Not bad, not bad. Only two tenths, two and a half tenths behind Raven West, in between the two kicker cars. That was a good qualifying, I'm happy, very happy with that, and my teammate did not qualify last, uh, so kudos to him. But I am happy with that. That was tough. Ten laps. Which is a lot of laps. <laughs> so here we go. We really want to beat both Raven West guards, but mostly uh, Wesley, because he is currently in second place, one point behind us. As we dive up the inside of the kicker car, and we are back where we were before, onto the tail of the two Raven West cars. Now, Rick Scott is currently leading, so as long as we can get past Wesley, as we get oversteer. If we can get past Wesley, I will be happy. Um, not winning. Because Rick Scott is a, a little bit behind us in the championship. Not that much, but he's not as close as Wesley is. I don't think. As so far, Scott has only had uh, two second places. We dive up the inside. Just a bit of a tap on the side pod. We are on the inside of Wesley. This is close. Oh, and he comes over across us. That was his own doing. He uh, quite viciously swiped at us. Uh, I shall put in the statement. Uh, but no, we are fine, no damage, and we are chasing Rick Scott, although that may be a cut. Yes, it is. We do not 
get much of a penalty, so I will live with that. Uh, that's our own fault. That was a much better line through that left-hander. That was probably where we were losing all the time, that left-hander. And maybe that left-hander too, but I'm not too sure. So we get very sideways again. And we don't want to hit this wall. Just avoid it. We are pushing it on that last corner. I'm going flat through that last corner. I don't want to lift. Uh, for obvious reasons. Because we need to go as fast as we can. Uh, so we are trying to close onto the back of Rick Scott. And this complex is typically where we're quite good. But oversteer does ruin that. Just like that. Uh, Aaron Wesley is actually fighting with one of the kicking cars right now. Uh, that would be fabulous if one of the kicking cars can pass him. Although, we may be winning this race because we have closed on Rick Scott at a good rate of knots. And we are going to be challenging him for the lead very soon. Oh, that was the first time we have hit the wall. We just clipped it. Well, we set the fastest lap, which is uh, also fabulous. When we were actually running at top speed there, as we dive up the inside, he's still there. I didn't hear contact, so this was a clean overtake, but he's still there. I don't know where. Oh, and he's there, he's there. <laughs> I heard a lot of noise, but I did not hear contact. I heard tyre squeal, so I presume he was trying to avoid me or something. But we were running side by side there, so we have taken the lead on lap 4 of 10. And he is sliding all over the shop. So at the moment, it will be a repeat of the last race. Uh, the podium will be the same. Anyway, as we get big oversteer. And more oversteer. <laughs> that was close. That was very close. Because sometimes you don't want to fight the oversteer. <laughs> sometimes it's safer to let it spin rather than uh, get flung into the wall. But we were close to the wall, but not that close in the end. But we were close to being spat off. Uh, which would have ended very badly, I can tell you. Uh, a bit of oversteer, but makes us run out to the kerb, so it's not really that much slower. And this left-hander, we've started nailing quite well now. I'm starting to I actually like... That's probably one of my more favourite corners of this, this track. It's quite a nice corner, that left-hander. You just fly into it, clip the kerb, and you get to the runoff. And this left-hander is just insane. It's great. And we have a pulling lead, we are pulling away. I think we're pulling away anyway. I'd, I'd assume so. Uh, into the left hander. And if we can get a good race, then... Um, I, I don't think... We, I mean, we won't need to win the next race if we win this one. I think that's pretty much assured. We can't guarantee that we're going to win this one yet, because uh, the Raven West cars can be uh, dangerous and they can appear from nowhere and uh, ruin your race. Although we are about to head on to lap 7. Oh, and that was oversteer at the wrong time. And that's going to send us into the wall, and that was a fairly big whack, and we do have steering damage. And <laughs> Rick Scott is all over us, he's going to go for the overtake potentially. Yeah, that whack did really hamper us as we run wide. We got the slide on. He's on our inside. No. We do have steering damage. It's quite minor. I can live with it. It's not too bad. But it's damaged nonetheless. Um, well, I'm pretty sure the Intel guys won't be that bothered. I, I mean, I'm destroying their objectives. So, should be happy. Uh, but we must not hit that wall again. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. But basically, we got a bit of strange oversteer in that left, uh, the right-hander, which led us to just having a horrible line for the left-hander, as we did there, but we were a bit more cautious. So it's lap 8 out of 10. It's telling me to extend the gap, but that's not really exactly the easiest thing to do against Raven West with damage. Uh, So we have a half a second gap to Scott. I'm breaking through there this time. I don't want to get the oversteer. Although I still get some there. 
but that was actually bad because Scott is all over the back of us. So as long as we nail this left-hander, which we don't, we miss the apex, could not carry enough speed through there. Although we sort of get that left-hander nailed instead. And oversteer. <laughs> Held. He's probably going to overtake us here. Nope. He did not decide to go around the outside. I think he could have done it with the outside with the overspeed that he had. But he decided against it. I get a bit of oversteer, but that was tiny, tiny amounts. And we just need to be careful. So we don't really want to break here because it's a very slow. Uh, maybe here we can break a bit. Otherwise, actually, we're not going to make the corner. But that Cedric Scott is faster there at the moment. As we nail the left-hander, that is how it should be done. That was perfect. Uh, that was not so good. Uh, <laughs> and we don't want to hit the wall. Sliding all over the shop. The last lap. Just need to hold on. And we will win the, uh, this race. And we will have the overall championship win in our grasp. Although, an accident in the last race could ruin things, uh, so we need to be careful. And hopefully as well, we get the fastest lap in this race. We did have a good lap, uh, but Rick Scott is being very quick again. And he is on our gearbox again, and we do not want him to sneak up our inside at the very end. No, no, no. Uh, we are about to lap two cars, uh, which we don't really need at this point of the race. Uh, what are they doing here? I was they've had their own incident, and they're very slow. And one of those is my teammate, actually. Uh, wow. But across the line, we take the win. Fabulous. So that is good. That is very good. One more race to do it. So yeah, they, we almost lapped those two cars at the back, which is uh, interesting. I presume there's a few accidents going on. But we did take the fastest lap by three tenths. So that's good. We get the extra point. Now we did actually lose, I presume, the championship lead when we did not get the fast, uh, did not qualify on pole because you get two points for call at uh, pole. Although I think Rick Scott took the pole, so I think we may have not. I'm not too sure. We have an eight-point lead over Rick Scott and a twelve-point lead against Westley. We cannot finish lower than third, so let's do this. And we have taken second in the construct. Well. When I say we, I have taken second in the constructors because my teammate is hopeless. So on to race two. The final race of the championship, starting from fifth, ten laps. Let's see what we can do. And lights go green. We are away. Mediocre start. We have a car up our inside, but they have dropped back. And... The Raven West the cars are once again being challenged by a kicker. We run into the back of the kicker. Uh, by accident. Whoopsie. Sort of get him out of the way. Uh, and we're back on the, the tail of the Raven West cars. Uh, and we are pushing it with these curbs. I'm pushing it very close behind Wesley. We may go for the overtake here. We have gone for the overtake. Lovely. That was very... That was... Pushing it on terms of how close we can get to him without having a contact. And we get oversteer. And Scott is very slow here. Very slow. I could have gone up the inside, but I thought that would end badly. Thank you. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to have to break there, because he's too slow. We give him a little tap. Uh, I didn't want to take advantage of that tap. Uh, yeah, we had to break there to let to, to make sure we didn't run into the back of him, but we still ran into the back of him. Um, but this is good, this is good. At the moment we are going to win the championship, I think, I would presume. Uh, we get 18 points for second place, and 25 for first. So if Rick Scott wins the race, I mean, we currently have an 8-point lead. Oh, way slow. That'll be seven points. So if he gets the fastest lap, it would be a draw. As we 
ruined the gap to him with a big slide. So we need to push again. As long as he does not take the fastest lap and we stay here, we are guaranteed the win. But we can't guarantee anything with uh, Raven West. So I'd rather take the win. And get the XP as well. Good old XP. So we're going to take the tighter line so we can get a faster line through these the right left and close to the wall but we get the oversteer, that's a spin, I'm going to use a flashback um, Took a bit too much curb there for the car's liking <sighs> Pushing it to the wall but not touching it And that was our fastest lap so far this race uh, As we go into lap 4 of 10 and we need to close on Rick Scott. We really need to. Uh, so we are three quarters of a second behind him. Uh, as we get oversteer, typical oversteer. We are now half a second behind Rick Scott. So that's a good first sector curb. I'm so glad that runoff is there, otherwise, I would have been in the gravel into a wall probably somewhere. He's very slow through this first right-hander. We could have had a run. But we're going to be careful. <laughs> when I say careful, I mean sliding almost hit the wall. That is the fastest lap, which is very good. We have a run. Oh, Rick Scott, we're going to have to break. That is a cut. That is a cut. I'm going to let him back through anyway. That was annoying. No, I just did not have the space. I felt... Uh, and probably a bit of bad driving for myself, but nevertheless, uh, oh, big oversteer! <laughs> this game is a lot of fun. It's uh, in between a sim and an arcade. It's not a total arcade, and it's nowhere near a total sim, but it's a bit of both. Uh, the driving physics are sim-e, but very arcadey. Like you wouldn't normally be drifting a Formula Three car, I can tell you. But drifting is not the fastest way. So that's the simmy part of it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I know. And we always get the run at the wrong place because it's single file through a section of this. Oh, we just give him a tap and we get steering damage. It's single file through that first little sector. So it's quite difficult, unless you can dive up the inside. But you have to have a, 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 an actual run quite far back uh, to do that because of the first little kink. You can't be close, because they, they go quite slow through there. So we are not able to catch him at the right place. Abuse the runoff again. But really, we should really try and overtake him at the final sector, because that is where he is slow. This right-hander. Bit of oversteer. And the steering damage as well is a bit of a pain. Lap 7 of 10. We've got a few more chances left. We're quite far behind this time. Um, going into turn 1, but nevertheless. Because we are on his tail this time. Normally we, we've dropped back here because we have a collision. Or having to break at turn 1. So. Oh, he's very slow there. Slammed on the anchors. Steering damage means I'm having to hold the steering wheel a bit funny to go through some of these corners. Uh, but it is alright. Speaking of steering wheel, I'm using the Logitech Driving Force GT. Uh, most of the settings are stock. I've just changed the force feeder back a bit and I've removed two from the linearity. Uh, it was a bit too sensitive for me, so I removed a bit of linearity. As we go up the inside, that is how it's done on lap 8 of 10, sneak up the inside, and we are good to go. Although we break there, which has <laughs> put him right back on our tail again. I get a bit of a slide there, so he's still on our tail, we need to break the gap. But I don't know if that is going to happen before the end of this race. And we are closing again, once again on, uh, closing again, once again, closing on uh, cars to lap, which is interesting. Because we were nowhere near that, it's a bang. Oh, oversteer, bit of a tap on the wall, but we are safe. 
He may go for the overtake. I don't think so, no. Two laps to go. And we should win this championship. Um, at this current position. Which is very nice, very nice. I wasn't actually expecting to be this competitive on very hard. Because uh, I like to openly say that I'm not the best driver. Uh, I'm not an amazing driver. I do my bit though. And um, yeah, I'm quite surprised. I mean, typically I was fairly half decent at grid 2. And that was nothing like this, if I'm honest. And I was alright at grid, I guess. I never played online, so I was never able to compare against um, the proper players, just the AI. Um, but yeah, I'm quite surprised as we are going to hit the wall quite badly. Rick Scott will have a run. The steering damage is, is just getting worse. And Rick Scott is just past us. Oh dear, on the final lap. Yeah, the steering damage is causing us issues, but I think we're going to dive back up the inside there. Although, will he get past us again? As this lap traffic is going to get in the way. Um, potentially. Let's see. It's our teammate. Get out the way. Get out the way, teammate. I, I don't even need a name. Get out the way. Oh no, that's not that's not getting out of the way. That's going on my racing line. Wait, although you are holding up Rick Scott. Good job, man. Good job. Although we are clear, home and dry. Into the final corner. <laughs> Just clipping it. <laughs> and I cross the line. To win the season, which is fantastic. Uh, I think that race was slower, was it? By like a second or something? I don't know. But that was the fastest lap. I need to push I didn't hear him for that. Uh, our teammate is very hopeless. Um, very hopeless. His fastest lap was six seconds slower than mine. At a, a minute lap. Well, less than a minute lap, which is quite bad. <laughs> so we have a 16 point gap at the end of that. We got second. Uh, well, I got second once again in the constructors, but uh, that is alright. I can live with that. And once again, we didn't get the Firestone. <laughs> Why are you so harsh? But everything else we achieved, so in theory that should take us up to level 2. Not quite. Not quite. So that's the end of season 1. That was a very short season. <laughs> and three achievements in one, wow. So we have unlocked the Sparco GP Championship, which I presume is the next championship. There we go, first place. Jolly good. Jolly good. And here is that career progression ladder thing. So we need to get to level 3 in every um, every discipline. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the tuna one. No, I can tell you. you I know. The team target, you've the of some of the teams. No way. More and more. Lovely. I think I will uh, try something new uh, next time. So, I uh, will probably go touring car next time. I don't know, maybe street. But that was it for the first season. And I shall see you next time.